I think you know that the game controller is the most frequently damaged device by juice, cola, tea, coffee. And if it happened to you, don't worry, you can clean the PS5 controller yourself from sticking buttons. Welcome to How Fix It. In this video, I will show you how to restore a PS5 DualSense controller after liquid damage. What tools you will need to repair controller? Phillips 1 screwdriver. If you're using the How Fix It screwdriver kit, this is Phillips 2. Also, you will need any plastic opening tool and tweezers. I recommend using isopropyl alcohol and cotton swabs for cleaning. No solvents containing chemical elements, only isopropyl alcohol. Also, I recommend using a magnetic mat during the repair process and laying out each screw in details step by step. This will help not to get confused during reassembly and most importantly, due to the magnetic base, you will not lose the screws. In the description, I left links where to buy all the necessary tools for repairing the PS5 controller. Let's go back to the damaged controller. The first thing to do is turn the controller over so that no more liquid gets into it and wipe it well with a towel. As soon as you fill the gamepad with some sweet liquid, I recommend not to postpone cleaning. It will be much more difficult for you to clean the buttons from sticking. There's also a risk of oxidation and corrosion on the controller mainboard. Take a plastic tool and remove the front panel from the gamepad. Next, remove the buttons L1 and R1 by prying up. Remove the four screws and you can open the gamepad housing. Now immediately disconnect the battery from the mainboard. Disconnect the microphone ribbon cable. Carefully wipe the rubber clip and microphone cable. Disconnect all cables from the mainboard. Grip the ribbon cable pull tab with a pair of tweezers or your fingers and pull up to disconnect it from the motherboard.
turn the mainboard over and lift up housing. Now remove all the buttons from the front panel of the PS5 controller. Let's put the front panel aside. We'll come back to it a little later. Now let's move on to cleaning the conductive film. Remove the four screws and remove the triggers. Also, we will disassemble these two triggers. Check if the liquid got inside and clean it, but we'll do it a little later. This conductive film is responsible for the operation of the buttons. If, after cleaning the gamepad, one of the buttons does not work, then this black contact coating on the film has stopped transmitting a signal when the button is pressed. And therefore, it needs to replace this conductive film. In the description under the video, I left a link where to buy a conductive film for a DualSense controller. Please note, I do not recommend cleaning the film and graphite contacts with isopropyl alcohol. Just clean with a cloth or cotton swab. Otherwise, you may wash off the graphite layer and thus damage the contact coating on the conductive film.
Let's move on to cleaning the buttons. Take any tray where you can put the removed panel buttons, screws, and fill them with isopropyl alcohol. In this way, you will most likely clean all the buttons and parts. You can wash it under water, but especially sugary drinks are not easy to wash, especially if the liquid is already dry. Now using a cotton swab and isopropyl alcohol, wipe the mainboard from the remaining liquid. Don't worry, isopropyl alcohol is safe for electronic circuit boards. Also, isopropyl alcohol helps to remove chemical elements that could remain on the mainboard from spilled liquid. The chemical composition of different drinks, over time, can cause oxidation on the elements of the mainboard of the controller. Therefore, very carefully clean the contacts of all elements on the board. Pay attention to the touchpad ribbon cable. The contacts on the ribbon cable must be clean, otherwise the touchpad will not work. Let's move on to cleaning the trigger. First, clean the contacts on the ribbon cable and the case itself. Then we'll disassemble and clean the internal mechanism. The trigger in the DualSense has an internal moving mechanism. 
If the sweet liquid is spilled on these gears, the trigger will be very tight and not work at all. Let's disassemble the internal mechanism and clean every part with isopropyl alcohol. Reassembling a DualSense trigger may seem complicated, but it's not. The main thing is not to rush and carefully connect the cables. Pay attention to which position the gear should be fixed. The cleaning process for the second trigger is exactly the same. If necessary, clean the trigger in the same way as the previous one. Let's move on to cleaning the DualSense mainboard. Take a brush, isopropyl alcohol, and clean out every capacitor, every chip on the board. Take out all the buttons and small parts from the tray, and let's move on to cleaning the controller housing. The main parts of the controller can be washed under water.
These silicone pads are a part of the button mechanism. The black conductive coating is in contact with the conductive film that we cleaned earlier. Rinse these silicone pads under water to prevent the sticking buttons on the PS5 controller. Also, I do not recommend using isopropyl alcohol when it comes to cleaning the black contacts under the rubber pad. In any case, in the description, I left a link where to buy new conductive silicone pads. All parts of the PS5 controller are washed. While everything dries up, you can take a break, have a coffee, and start assembling the controller.
DualSense controller is assembled. Now let's check how it works. So, each of the buttons is fully functional. The buttons do not stick. The repair can be considered successful. In conclusion, I can recommend my other video instructions, where I show you how to disassemble and clean the PS5 from dust. This will help get rid of overheating, which can increase the life of a game console. I recommend cleaning the PS5 at least once a year, if you use it often, especially since it's not a difficult process. That's it. You are on How Fix It, and see you guys next time.